feel like to someone that's 12 years old that might have found computer science interesting how we should encourage them to um, not get like um, terrified by the rumors and to <laughs> <laughs> yeah I guess I mean um, why was it exciting for you and what happened to you after that and was it worth doing what you did yeah I think I've never considered my like my my ad- identity as a girl was never something that is on top of my on top of my mind when I do things like I never take that into consideration to in terms of to of what I do and um I think as I grew up I was quite interested in stem subjects like mathematics and physics so it was quite natural for me to um to explore around that and then one day I found this thing called programming and uh, um I I just got really into it because it was um it was so powerful and also so simple but powerful so um I think for anyone um you can just try whatever out whatever's out there and follow your heart like the only thing you should listen to is your heart um whether you feel like it is interesting or it is not your your thing and if you find it interesting you should just carry on and try it and if you happen to be like a minority in the group of people that do it i think you shouldn't be bothered by that and maybe you can even be proud of that for um being one of the um, atypical kids yeah so i think it's a cool thing um and like just follow your heart and do what you like it is when you tell your story to other people they will be they will feel they'll be they'll like listen to it in all and um because you you followed what you want and yeah and if you like feel um if you hear some rumors of like things that you find um maybe um a bit scary then it is good to like um talk to people who are actually doing the thing and to see if the rumors are true or um if they're not and most of the time you'll find that it is actually not that scary and it doesn't hurt to like try it a little bit more and you will find it yourself eventually that it is something very interesting what's an exciting computing thing that you did in this last year so i would say like um further java was quite interesting to me like um it is kind of a practical ish course that we get to follow some instructions to build a chatting like a chatting client and server um it and um it mixes a lot of elements that i'm interested in like java which is the one of the first few programming languages we learned last year and also the um concurrent side of programming um and also some taste of network which we will learn um next term so um although it is like a guided and instructed project i find it um very fulfilling to um actually program something that works and understand what well, um at least to some extent what is going on um uh, beneath that so yeah it is it is something i find quite interesting great do you have ideas what you will uh, do for your internship next summer um it's likely still going to be software engineering mm-hmm. and um but the programming language is going to change it's not going to be go it's going to be something else and i don't know what the project is going to be yet um you think you're going to go in the same fintech company that you went last year no it will be a different company different company yeah i hope to do a project that is kind of related to um the um kind of lower level things like um i don't know either like concurrent or distributed systems or network maybe because i find them quite interesting um but i hope that that will be a part of a higher level project that um um yeah that kind of intersection i, I hope yeah so so these these internships are a very useful thing to do i think um for you it's a kind of try before you buy of would i like working in this type of this type of industry in in this particular company and so on uh, for them of course it's a try before you buy i mean you are uh, people like you are super valuable to them they they fight over each other to hire you i mean they they pay you well i imagine during these yeah. internships uh, 
and the prize is if one of these good people then decides to um, to get hired by them on graduation that's when they say yes yes we hit the jackpot <laughs> for them uh, you are very precious i mean it's the best best recruiting uh, avenue that they have finding someone smart and then having a look at them for a few months and then say okay well i want you to work so it's, it's, it's great for them it's great for you and it's also great for you later because you know i interview people for graduate admissions and someone who comes i mean not necessarily from I mean, the internal people, we don't need to interview because we've seen them for f throughout their undergraduate year. But when I'm interviewing people from other universities, other countries and so on, um, if they've done some internships besides their, um, their coursework, I mean, everybody who has a chance of getting in has high marks in their coursework to begin with. But then one of the distinguishers is, OK, what else have you done? And uh, these internships have you done? Yeah, I've done this and I work on, you know caching databases, blah, blah, they can talk about something else that not just the coursework and they can show some experience. I mean, I've actually applied the things I learned in the course to something that's now in production. I made uh, some real program uh, go twice as fast. So that, that can be much more impressive than just A, 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 A on the coursework because everybody else also has A, 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 A at this, at this level of the game anyway. Yeah. And so uh, it's very good that you do this. I encourage you to spread around try sample various things because this is just a few months over the summer and then it will help you decide what to commit on later on yeah yeah, yeah very good well done is there anything else we want to close with do you have any questions for me do you have any final advice for your successors for for people watching this video um i feel like the the the, the thing that i try to convey is that um the university or pre-university periods are like time for you to try and to look at different things and it is okay to go wrong because those experiences will help you better identify what you're interested in and um, ultimately like after you graduate you will be um, on your own and so in this process we get to learn how to make decisions and be responsible for ourselves and um, I think that is the guiding principle um, for whatever I do like choosing to study computer science and also um, developing the working habit I have now and also um, to looking for internships in various places. Um, I think um, just follow your heart and do what you think that's interesting and if it's not just just try something else. So yeah I think that's the message I, I want to convey and hope that it will make sense to people watching this. Thank you very much. We, ha we have the luxury that the stuff that we like to do is something that uh, leads to uh, a career that's very much in demand. So you say, well, do um, what, um, what your heart tells you to do. And it's like, I don't know, painting or something. Then, you know, a few painters become very successful and maybe make a lot of money. But uh, many other painters do what they're... Um, their heart says and then they <laughs> they end up very poor uh, yeah, whereas if, if if what you enjoy is uh, doing doing computing and uh, you, you would you would do computing just because you like it even if you had to pay to do it as opposed to being paid to do it uh, then you're in the privileged situation that uh, basically whatever happens uh, you're going to be fine so yeah follow your heart is easy advice to give in yeah, this case. <laughs> that's a good thing about learning a practical subject yes 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 and if you're if you have the talent of being good at something like this, then you will always be in demand. You will always um, have choice of many interesting options of things to do. So it's, it's very, very worthwhile to pursue this aptitude if you have it, because it will open many doors.